G'day church family, welcome to another episode of This Is Our Family, a place where we can build community, share stories and celebrate God's goodness together, oh, well, like we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it down pat. Yep. It is really good that we can come and just highlight what is happening across our church family. Jackie, what are you hearing? I'm hearing of a birthday last week. So we had a week off this afternoon last week, but we don't want to forget to celebrate Barry Ward in his 90th birthday. Barry is a legend in our church and it's so great to be able to celebrate your birthday, Barry. Sorry, happy birthday. 90 is really significant. We'll get there one day. Yeah, I hope so. I hope I'm just as cool as Barry. Yeah. <laughs> We're really looking forward to our, our families at our connected to our Eagle Hawk camps. We have an online Zoom trivia night uh, this Friday night. That sounds fun. There's going to be lots of laughs, lots of silliness, but just really building that strong sense of connection. Yeah, that's really important right now. We also want to be celebrating. There's been a few faith decisions and people being connected in and people um, just being really vulnerable in their communities. And so it's been really cool to see that been happening, especially with with the distance but that that's that's that is no barrier to god working and Absolutely. and that's been really cool like someone i've been chatting to not even like doesn't even step foot in a church because we can't and god has just been ministering to her in a, her own individual way um i think that's really cool isn't that beautiful in the midst of that we are looking forward to gathering as the church again uh, to be together where we can celebrate and worship and and uh, really connect again. So we're continuing as a church to talk through what that looks like as the restrictions continue to ease. I am so excited. <laughs> now we've got a game coming up, so stay tuned for the very end, but it's gonna be a good one and you're gonna wanna get ready at your keyboards in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, but before that, we wanted to make sure that you mentioned the prayer meeting on this coming Monday. Yeah, where we gather as both campuses together and really seek God on a number of things. We just wanna uh, show you uh, how you can connect into that now. Hey church, on the first Monday of every single month, you might know that we have a church-wide prayer meeting. Now, obviously that's a little bit harder to do right now, so me and Brock are gonna show you how you can do that over Zoom, over the internet, or over your phone. But first I wanted to read to you a verse from Philippians 4, verse six to seven, that shares with us how important prayer is. And it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So today we're going to just quickly show you through how you can use Zoom on your computer and also call in on your phone if you don't have great internet access. So I'm going to hand over to Brock to show us that now. If you don't have good internet access, all you have to do is dial in the number that will be in the e-bulletin or the comments below. And then as you do that, uh, you just follow the prompts. Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting ID followed by hash. host, please enter your host key followed by hash. If you are a participant, please press hash to continue. The meeting has not started. Please wait or try. And that's how easy it is and you can join the campus specific um, prayer meeting seven o'clock first Monday each month. Awesome. So if you'd like to join using your computer or your mobile instead of using the um, telephone, which is probably the best option if you have access to a computer or your iPad or um, a mobile with internet, I'd recommend using this option. All you have to do is grab the URL. So this is like this little code that you'll see here on my computer. Um, that will be in your bulletin, um, in the um, digital bulletin. If you don't have access to that and you would like to join us for the prayer meeting, please send us a message and um, we'll be able to get that link to you. All you have to do is copy that link. So right click and press copy and then you can paste that into your browser. So if you use Chrome or Safari on your computer, just paste that in. And what it's going to do is, is automatically open up Zoom for you. Now, if you don't already have Zoom, what it's going to do is prompt you to install Zoom on your computer. All you have to do is follow through the process with that. It'll kind of step you through everything. So all you have to do is just follow the prompts to do that. Um, and obviously you're doing that around 7, um, 7 or 7.30, whenever the um, prayer meeting is, jump in on that and click that link. Um, when you do that and you've got Zoom all installed, this will pop up on your computer and you just wanna press join with computer audio or if you're connecting with headphones or something else you'll just do that and then you can press this and then up will pop your face or whoever's faces are joining you for the prayer meeting um, my face isn't popping up right now because I'm already using it to do this video with you guys um, and so it's all pretty straightforward if I just want to show you these two little buttons down here if you want to mute your mute your voice to so say you're talking to a family member or your kids are crying or something's happening in the background just mute yourself here or if you're not talking at all feel free to mute yourself just to make sure there's no background noise um, and all you, you can also choose to stop video or play video it's always lovely to see each other so if you can have your video on um, there's also a chat box here if you'd like to message someone um, outside of talking to them 
children. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. I also want to say if you want to join using um, the meeting ID, um, that one might also be available. You just have to enter that in with your Zoom and there'll probably be a password as well, which we'll just find out that from, from the team um, if you'd like to join the prayer meeting that way. But if you have any troubles, please let us know. It's pretty straightforward. Just click on the link and it'll open up Zoom, ready for you to join the prayer meeting and be a part of our community as we talk to God together. Thanks, guys. Looking forward to seeing you Monday night as we pray together. The link will be released on our church Facebook page or in our bulletin uh, this coming week as well. Now, Brock, I have a question for you. Do you know who I am? <laughs> am, I, am I just totally masqueraded in my, in my mask here? I reckon that you should be getting a picture of your face. Actual face. Printed on your mask. I could do that. Because we're going to come back together and be maybe looking and we're like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. So we actually have an activity for you now, Brooke. Um, well, for you guys, me and Brooke and Marie, who thought of this great idea. Yeah, thanks, um, Marie. Marie is part of our, she heads up our Mad Cow Cleaning and she's come up with this awesome game that we wanted to play with you guys. And it involves trying to work out who people are behind the masks. Yeah, I love it. There's three people on your screen right now. Who are they? How good are you at recognizing these people just with their eyes and that squint that comes in the smile? <laughs> How in the comments below? Just pop in like the, the letter associated with that photo and write in the name that you think it is. Perhaps even tag them if you know them. A few of them I have friends on Facebook, so I will be tagging them. Well, I won't give them away because some of them I reckon I'd get pretty easy. <laughs> And in the next coming weeks, we're going to put more on. So I want to in, encourage you to email photos of yourself or your family or friends with their mask on. Uh, can be funny and we will put them up um, and see if we can guess who's behind the mask. Please email them to this is, no, to our family. Yes. At bendigobaptist.org. So that'd be really good. Now, I just want to lastly mention, um, make, we make sure you join us for our service on Sunday. We'll be doing communion together, so be prepared for that. Um, and we look forward to joining you again on Sunday. Great. We'll see you there. Looking forward to seeing you next week.